So everybody, so we're going to be looking at the HS09 and the HS10 and this one, HS09. Let's open her up and see what we got here. This one has its own carrying case. It does come with two cables. Um, and it looks like these are very, very similar to the the threaded cables from the uh, for the HSM set. So, yeah. Actually, I think these must be the same cable. that's interesting how this comes in two they say tan and then we have the microphone case itself so this case already has two windscreens in it one that's on the microphone already and one that's in the pouch by itself so I'm going to carefully pull out this microphone so this is a single eared device um, as you can see it's kind of curved already to the left this can go both curve left or right and so it actually loops around the full ear and then comes off the bottom so let's go ahead and just connect the cable up I'm gonna set this small bag aside um, another kind of bag that it's pleather on the outside and cheaper kind of plastic on the inside the cables are labeled the exact same here so um, I'm just gonna take one and leave one the same kind of threaded design goes for this one and so I'm going to go ahead and just quickly grab the HSM-8. The colors are different. Like we noticed before, the thickness is about the same. Um, the heads are identical. And the threading is very similar. So that was the HSM-8. Let's look at the HSM-3 cable. The color is still different. So, so far all three cables have different colors, but the connectors look to be pretty much the same. So I'm going to untwist this here and then try this connector. It is the same threading, folks. So even though they're three different models, two different brands, they are the same cable. So apparently the supplier of the cable is the same. So the main difference you're paying for is the headset. <clears throat> Like I said, this one came with this windscreen connected. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it. And just looking at this cable, it looks very similar to the microphone for... Alright, so it is much smaller than the HSM-3. You can see the heads. We can compare these a little closer later. What about the HSM-8? It's also smaller. So the microphone is going to be much different. Than the other microphones so the sound quality is going to be different so that's going to be the key determining factor between these microphones so all right i got it all twisted on here i'm gonna loosen the cable length here one of the thing one of the things i'll point out for this particular hs09 it does not have any sort of manual in here it doesn't have any specs anything like that um, it just had the two cables two windscreens and that's it i'm gonna go ahead and throw this behind my ear after I unwrap the cable that got tangled. So, here we go. Just over the ear. This is the primary reason why I prefer, what I thought I prefer the dual ear over the single ear is because um, the single ear already, I can already feel that it's moving more. I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck this down my shirt in the hopes that it'll kind of ground it and keep it in place. Obviously you can use tape and stuff if you needed to and shape this around the ear a little tighter, which I'm gonna do right now. Um, but the whole goal, goal is to have it um, be used on multiple people and I'm switching stuff out. And so this is real world scenario in the sense of like people testing this and trying it and it moving on them. When it moves on a person, they tend to freak out. They tend to like, oh, the mic's out of play, so it's not working. Um, obviously, it's on there pretty good um, and it's it's staying it's just the movement is what freaks people out. And so if they feel like it's coming off their ear or if it's going to fall, then they start to get insecure about the way it's feeling and the way it sits. So that's why I would personally prefer a dual ear over a single, I think, um, even though the single ear tends to pretty much stay on all the time. Um, it's, it's more of a psychological thing that happens. So I'm going to go ahead and put this bag here. So... Um, comfortability, it, it actually feels quite comfortable. It's hard to tell that it's on me. 
Um, you can see on the back it's just running down the side of my neck here and going down my shirt. Um, and this is touching the back of my ear here, but I barely notice it. I can tuck it a little tighter and try to form fit it around my, my head a little bit better um, because the ear ho hook, yeah, if we wanted to go tighter like that, it would actually come out. And that's actually distracting. That's a bad thing for me. So I'm going to take this off my ear and try to shape it. Maybe that's better. Or it's more forward in the front. <clears throat> the disadvantage to this particular microphone is there's no boom control. There's no forward and back. So that's going to be an issue um, depending on the size of the person's face. The typical spot you want it to be is right in the corner of the smile. This one protrudes a little further out. Um, so that could be a deal breaker for some people. It also... You have to really kind of mess with this to make it stay on your ear. And because the hoop is so big, it actually is too big for my ear. And so it doesn't fit. It doesn't stay well. Obviously, like I said, we can shape it and make it fit um, in that sense. But And it stays on. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the bottom line is it does stay on. Um, it is usable. I would possibly tape this uh, piece on the, on the neck and maybe behind the ear or something like that to keep it from going crazy. Um, in a performance scenario where you have a singer or dancer, somebody moving that is singing, obviously that would be helpful. So overall, it feels pretty good. Uh, it's pretty light. So let's switch over to the HS10. Okay, so HS10 TAN comes with two cables as well. Uh, they look to be identical cables. The only difference is the branding or, or the label is different for the HS10. Let me just double check. Oh, guess what? We have another color differential. This one. So, so far, the fittings on both sides of these cables have been the same. They look the same. They feel very similar, if not the same. The, the major difference would be that uh, the color across the board, every single one of these cables is slightly different they have a different tan for every single one of these cables i don't know if it's a manufacturer thing or what but that is something to note if you're watching this video in the distant future you'll see uh i'll have a written review on amazon for each of these products just know that um it's I'm not, I'm not going to be able to tell just by feeling it out today um, the durability and the long longevity of these. But my Amazon review, hopefully I'll keep it updated about once a week year, just in the future so you can see uh, the different headsets and stuff. So, Okay, so this is the multi-pack. So the issue that I had with the HS09 was that there was only one ear and one ear size. So this one has a few different ones built into the system. It also looks like there's two, two microphones. And look, so there's a total of three different types of ear sizes and dual microphones. You'll see that the microphone, there are two different, there are two different lengths. So a shorter one and a longer one. This would be for uh, a smaller person versus a taller person or a bigger face, bigger head, head person. And so uh, the caveat here is there's only uh, one cable for each of these microphones. Whereas like some of the other manufacturers felt like it was necessary to send you extra cables um, for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and look at this HS10. It has a lot more features, a lot more going on than the single HS09. So, so because we have two different microphone links, I'm sure they'll sound uh, the same, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these both through the sound tests as we try them on and do all that. So we'll have a total of three single ears and three dual ears. And uh, like I said before, I'm probably leaning to a dual ear setup, but it's worth checking these out and um, seeing how they all stack up. So. <clears throat> so this setup as well has the three different sizes. We have um, the two actual mics themselves, a shorty and a long one. And then there's two wind screens. Um, per microphone. So there's the spare and there's actually a clip, uh, a clothing clip. And so we're going to go ahead and see which one fits my ear. Ooh, 
Ooh, the small one. Maybe not. It's a little tight. It's pressing up against uh, the back of my he ear here. So I'm going to try the next size up and see how it does. Actually, this small one's not too bad. Check, check, check. Okay. So this is the long nose, small size. Let me pull out the medium here and see if it feels better just by itself. So this is the medium fitting around my ear. This one feels like this is the right size for my ear. So that would be one advantage right away is um, depending on the size of your ear, you're gonna want a different size connector. So let's see, there's some um, grooving happening right here. Let me zoom in so you can see that. So there is some groove right here. That groove is probably what allows you to snap this out. Yeah, so it's a little tough, but you kind of just push it that way and then this will separate like so. So we got our small ear I'm gonna sit down here. And then I'm gonna move on to my medium sized ear and connect it in the same manner. I'm gonna to try to slide it over the wire. There it goes, it snapped into place. And then I'm gonna slide this up into it. There it goes, cool. Okay, so we've got this. I made a little kink in this wire, but hopefully it's okay. I was hoping this might work out, these headsets, uh, these singles, because you get two for the price of one. Um, obviously, if you factor in the number that you need, it's, um, you know, you just divide it by two, and that's the price per unit. So if I need six, it's still, instead of it being $200 for two, it's $100 for one or whatever. Um, I guess the disadvantage of that is that one is short, um, and one is long. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull the windscreen off just so I can compare the microphones as we go. And we've got it hooked around my chin. Check, check, check. All right, cool. And let's get the cable going for it. Okay, so this does fit pretty well around my ear. It feels like it's gripping. Um, obviously, the singles are going to move more. That's that's the issue you get with the single. Um, it's already got this space, spatial thing happening. It's moving around my ear. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck this cable like I did before down the back of my shirt. That's how it would be ran if um, I was performing. Anyways, if I was the performer. So there you have it folks, we could take the clothing pin and clip it to the back of my shirt. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Um, but as you can see, it's already kind of spacing off my face. And it's not quite forming to my face. So, um, there we go. Alright, so I just kind of bent the metal here so that it sticks and kind of presses against it. So that's pretty good. I'll, I'll buy that. Um, comfortability, I can feel it in the back of my ear, definitely pushing against it. So depending on the uh, setup that you have, the, the face, the depending on the subject that you're putting this microphone on, you're going to have to still kind of figure out those adjustments. And again, the movement on here is not good. So um, maybe this isn't the right fit for me. Maybe I should have stuck with the small one. Um, but it didn't feel like the small one... I don't know. That's what the small looks like on this side. It didn't really feel like that was the right fit before. Let me go back to the one, the shorty with the small ear cup and see how that feels on my opposite ear. So this is the shorty. This is the long one. This is the short one. So the short one isn't really ideal for adults. I mean, you can get away with it, but the microphone's way back here. The sound's coming from my mouth, right? And so obviously this distance is actually pretty much the minimum for me. I'm five foot 10. Um, so depending on your subject, if you're a kid, these are gonna work really well for them, but they're not gonna work so well as an adult. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this one screen too. And just looking back and forth between these two microphones, they are the same. 
So that's something to note. <clears throat> I guess we'll do that in the comparison test between the two. Um, I hate to say it, I'm a little biased already that the single ear ones are not working out as well as the dual ear because I care about it being snug and not moving. I don't want <clears throat> my performers, my uh, people to be distracted even by that little bit of movement. Um, I think that tends to throw people off and I don't want them to worry about the headset and it moving on them. Let's go ahead and get this packed up. I'll run the cable for the second HS10 and there'll actually be two microphones in this one instead of just one. So that looks like there'll be a total of seven microphones to test. One, I'll leave a medium ear on one and a small on the other just so there's a slight difference. Obviously, depending on your performer, you'll make it ideal to them. So this is what the small feels like on the left ear. Again, this four, five inch difference is not ideal. You'll hear a lot more room noise. Hey, I guess when we test it, when we actually see how it sounds, we'll see if we can notice that those differences. Maybe the difference is minute and having it shorter will actually hide it better. I don't know. Check, check, check. Okay. So that's what the shorty looks like with the small size. Cool. I'm going to give myself one more label for short and long. So I'm going to call this one long and I'm going to call HS10S for short. So we got a shorty or small and L for long. Okay, moving on. We got our single units coming up next. So this is the AVL630. So let's go ahead and look at this. This looks like it comes with just a single connection and I'm going to give myself a little bit of room here. AVL630. This one does have another spec sheet. Comes with a clip and a windscreen. And it's got two colors that it comes with, either black or tan. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of the specs. In these instructions, it tells you to only curve the bend, but don't actually do a hard bend on the lav mic itself. So, instruction manual, let's set the side. Got our clip. And we got everything in one here. So let's slide this out. Put this guy to the side. So this one looks to be shrink wrapped. I wonder if this groove is the same as the other ones, but this shrink wrap is preventing me from replacing the cable. If this was the microphone I owned and it broke, I would easily cut open this cable and see if I can get a replacement. Um, depending on how cheap I am, if this if I can't replace the whole thing and the cable is too expensive. Um, the connector is actually a little different than the rest of them. It actually looks... It's black instead of the um, tan. And so it's the same material, it's just a different color. So I'll try not to let that fool me into thinking it's higher quality when it's not. Let's go ahead and try her out. Um, this would be one that you would bend and shape to fit your ear, essentially. Um, I guess that's how a lot of these are. Some of them, they had a little bit of flexibility, but most of them did not. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist this open. I'm gonna throw all my spare parts into the case here. So this one has a much longer boom. This one's reaching all the way to my mouth compared to the HS10. So um, it does move quite a bit. So I would definitely uh, have to take this down, secure it in, pinch it on my ear, which is what I'm doing. There we go. Actually, the, the piping's more flexible than the other stuff. So uh, than the HS10 series, uh, and even the HS9, this stuff is actually much more bendable to the face. So um, I've got it on there now. That that uh, fabric clip would help definitely in the back, keeping the slack back there at the right distance. But out of all the single ears, I know this one's a little bit longer, which I don't like, but it feels like the most secure because I was able to get it around my ear and really secure it. So comfort, comfortability wise, this is probably the best one, even though the microphone's a little more obvious, a little longer, you can actually see this one a little clearer on my face, but out of the out of the 
three singles that we just tried, out of the four singles that we just tried, this would be the best one so far um, for comfortability. Feels good. It does move if I shake my face. So it's the shake test so far. Single ear is not the way to go if you're worried about that. Uh, comfortability wise, honestly, none of these headsets were painful. Um, there was that minor issue in the back of the ear. This one does not have it. It doesn't, it feels comfortable around the whole headset. AVL 630. So this wire texture is different than the rest of them. I don't know if it's higher quality or not. It's just a different texture. It's like a harder, more resilient type material. Um, whereas the rest of these other wires feel like they're softer material. So let me push this AVL 60, 630 up here. I'm going to push the box out of the way as well. 